Are you sick of dieting? In this chat, I'm talking to registered dietitian, Linda Illingworth, about how we can stop dieting and start living. Welcome to Happiness Adventure. I'm Lisa, and together we'll explore ways to cultivate real joy in our lives. So Linda, thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. I want to talk to you today about dieting. And the reason is that there is a billion dollar industry aimed at helping people achieve a healthy weight, and yet we're still struggling as a country. And what do you attribute that failure to? I think that failure comes from so much misinformation Mm -hmm. and that there's so many dollars tied to special ways of eating. Mm -hmm. And we also have a food system in our country that is very much driven by industry and less by health. And so that sets up a paradigm that really doesn't help people necessarily easily navigate the correct choices or be able to easily make decisions. There's so much conflicting information. Mm -hmm. So while, you know, competition is good and a variety of concepts is good, there's really few simple ways to improve your health that are pretty tried and true and steadfast. Mm -hmm. And that's really, there's not a lot of money, uh, Behind those, behind those behind those ways yeah. exactly not a lot of money to be earned necessarily mm-hmm. as, as far as in selling of products and things so I think that's one of the biggest challenges especially to Americans today is yeah. sifting through all that yeah and how do we sift through it what do you recommend to end the kind of cycle of yo-yo dieting and figure out what's healthiest I think really going back to basics and listening to yourself and using some of your intuition mm-hmm. and I always ask my clients if they've been struggling, if they've been dieting for years, is to what was successful in the past? Mm -hmm. When you were at your healthiest weight or your health, your health was at its best and you were your happiest, what was life, what did life look like then? And if we can go back and and put some of those things back into place, a lot of times we can recreate the health, recreate the happiness, recreate that sense of self that people are longing for. You know, one of the things I love about you is that when you counsel someone in their nutrition. You don't make them feel shame. You are very approachable and encouraging. What is your philosophy when you're helping someone change their habits? I think um, there's someone, everyone's always doing something right. Mm -hmm. So you might not be doing everything perfectly, but people often feel like, oh, I have it all wrong if I'm, you know, eating one or two things that aren't very healthy. Mm -hmm. And so we tend to focus on the negative. And I think what we need to do is look at what are we doing right? And then how can we build from there? And there's no bad food. Mm -hmm. There's just foods you should eat less of if you Mm -hmm. want to be healthy and foods that you need to eat more of if you want to be healthy. What would you say is the number one best habit with all the different information about what's healthy and what's not? If there was just one thing that you could say is universal that people could use more of, what would that food be? Vegetables. (laughs) Vegetables. <laughs> I know every nutritionist says, eat your vegetables, but it's true. Yeah. If you eat more of those antioxidants, that tends to take care of inflammation you might be experiencing. And sometimes it's not what you need more of, it's what you need to stop putting in. Mm-hmm. And then we create more balance. Yeah. So sugar is one of those things mm-hmm. that if we get really decrease the amounts of added sugar that we're consuming, then it starts to balance the rest of the nutrients. And you, if you stop fueling the flames, then there's fewer flames to put out. Mm-hmm. So the diet just becomes more of a medicinal tool for us. Uh-huh. How can someone start to integrate more in if they think they don't like vegetables? They don't like vegetables. I hear that a lot. Uh-huh. So one of the things, if you're a smoothie person, is to just throw a handful of spinach or even romaine, Some mild tasting green right into your smoothie Uh and it's going to be a funky color so if that bothers you just put it in something you don't have to look at it (laughs) and uh, but that's a great way to just get an extra serving of vegetables if you don't like raw vegetables but you like them cooked then eat them pureed into soups if you like them roasted around you know chicken or roast or something like that eat them that way Uh mainly it's getting them in Uh and how you get them in I'm less particular about yeah Now, what would you say is the connection between food and our mood or our joy in life? So I'm really fascinated by brain health and how mood and food affect it. Uh And what's really interesting is that when you um, eat food and your blood sugar rises, so do your neurochemicals in the brain that create feelings of well-being. So your moods mirror your blood sugar. So if you want to feel better and be happier, it's 
the best place to start with is what am I nourishing my body with? Mm -hmm. So if you're putting a lot of foods in that raise the blood sugar rapidly, you might feel good initially, but then you tend to drop off. Mm -hmm. And so you'll have more of these highs and lows mood wise than if you're more stable and eating a more balanced meal with balanced carb carbohydrate and protein and healthy fats, then we tend to get a better blood sugar curve and we get better mood control. Oh. And that gives us more resiliency for, for stress, if you get an illness, or just getting through your day. Yeah. Is there a single best diet for human beings? There's not. There is not one diet that's right for every human on the planet. There is a common thread to nutrition that is best for humans. And that is a plant-centered diet. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that everyone does well on a vegan diet, not everyone does well on a paleo diet, mm -hmm. and not everyone does on whatever the next craze is going yeah. to be. What is one thing a person can do starting right now if they wanna get off the dieting cycle and into a healthy lifestyle? The best thing people can do to get off of that diet merry-go-round uh -huh. is to go back to unprocessed food. Mm -hmm. So eating food as Mother Nature's prepared it. Mm -hmm. Mother Nature's food is naturally low in calories, naturally low in sodium, naturally low in fat, contains healthy fats for us. And so if you go back to how she's created the foods and create simple meals around that, mm -hmm. ditch the boxed rice mixes, ditch the bottled salad dressings, make your own simple pasta sauces, and that's the single best thing you can, can do. Mm -hmm. Because then you're getting all of the nutrients that Mother Nature knows our bodies need, without all the additives, preservatives, the unhealthy fats, and all the accoutrements our bodies have no need for. Mm -hmm. And that can take care of the calorie issue if it's a calorie issue. It'll take care of your inflammation if that's an inflammation issue. Yeah. It'll take care of your blood sugar if it's a blood sugar issue. So when you see it on your plate, it should look like it looks when it comes out of the earth and not some processed form that we don't recognize. Exactly. If you can't recognize what that food is on your plate, with a few exceptions, maybe a black bean burger. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Might have sweet potato in there you can't identify, but uh -huh. knowing that the food you're, cons you, you're consuming has all come from a whole food source mm -hmm. or is in yeah. its whole food form. Well, Linda, thank you so much My for My pleasure, to us Lisa. Today. Thank you so much. We just heard from Linda Illingworth, a registered dietitian, about how we can stop dieting and start living. The link to all of Linda's resources is in the description box right below this video. In the comments section, let me know what is your favorite vegetable. Before you go, subscribe to Feed Your Happy with a bite-sized video each week, and I look forward to seeing you soon for our next happiness adventure.